Well, duh. Hello, this is Welda Films here today, and I'm going to show you how to make your laser pointer not only work with the batteries it comes with, but also with the less expensive and more efficient AAA batteries using only these components in about 15 minutes of your time. Let's get started. This is the laser pointer I'll be using for this demonstration. It's your basic, average laser you can find just about any store. This is the casing we're going to use to hold the batteries. It was originally a Duracell mini flashlight, but when you remove the light bulb and the clicker at the top, it's just big enough to hold three AAA batteries. If you would like to use your own casing, remember that it must be a conductible metal or else the laser will not work. If you don't have a casing handy, keep watching later in the video as I demonstrate the same trick, only with a homemade aluminum foil casing. Obviously, we're going to need three AAA batteries, which by the end of the video will be powering your new and improved laser. You're going to need some duct tape. You can buy it at just about any store for a couple of bucks, and it's pretty easy to find. I prefer to use electrical tape as it reinforces the duct tape, but if you don't have any, it's no big deal. Okay, we're only going to need a couple of our bands, and these are very important because they hold the parts together so you can tape over them. For those of you who do not have a casing to use, you will use this aluminum foil later on in the video. Okay, we're just going to take our flashlight pen and unscrew the top, like so. And now as you can see, we have a perfectly hollow casing. Okay, we're just going to open up the box. Okay, so now we got our laser pointer. We're going to unscrew the top, and we're also going to unscrew the back. Take out all the batteries inside of it. Okay, so now we have a hollow battery case in the laser. Okay, we're going to need some aluminum foil for this part. Just grab a small piece and roll it into a ball. Okay, so once you've done that, we're going to put it upside down through the pen flashlight that's now a hollow casing. The reason we do this is in order to complete the circuit, we need the last battery to be touching metal on the end. Like so. Now we need to put the batteries plus side down through the casing. Almost done. Now what we gotta do is take our laser and our battery casing, now filled with AAA batteries, and put them together. And as you can see, the laser works perfectly. This is what you should have. This part's a little bit tricky, but not too much. What we're gonna do is take the rubber band and put it over both ends of the flashlight casing and the laser. So we've done that, we're going to wrap the second nerve band over it. That's what you're supposed to have. As you can see, the laser still works. Now we're just going to put the laser over the duct tape, right where the two points of the laser and the casing meet. And you should have this. Now what we're going to do is cut the duct tape, like so and finish rolling it up. Almost done. Now we're going to take the electrical tape and put it on the ends of the duct tape. As you can see, the light still works. Now we're going to put tape on the bottom and just rip it off. So if you've been doing this right, this is what you should have so far and the light still should work. We're just about done. Now all we gotta do is cut the rubber bands on the top side. Just like this. And there we go. Your laser pointer is now finished, and it runs on AAA batteries. That's what it should look like. And as you can see, it still works. But now it runs more efficiently and less expensive. Okay, for those of you who do not have a casing, this is your part of the video where I'm going to explain to you how to do it with aluminum foil. 
Okay, so we're just going to take out our laser. As you can see, it works. We're going to take off both ends. And as you can see, we have a hollow battery case. That's what you should have. Now what we're going to do is take two AAA batteries. We're going to wrap them in the aluminum foil and make sure they're very tight. This will serve as our casing. We're going to take the electrical tape and wrap it around the aluminum foil. You gotta cut the ends of it so the batteries are open. And this should be what you have. We're gonna take a little piece of duct tape and just roll it right over the battery casing. Both ends are still visible. That's very, very important. Almost done. Now we just gotta put the battery casing in there. Mine is side down. You should have so far. Now we're just going to take a little piece of aluminum foil and put it over the plus side on the very end. It completes the circuit for the laser to work. And there we go. Now the laser works. Thanks for watching.